heating and air. Nobody wows clients like we do. Time for another check of the forecast with meteorologist Angelica Campos. Hopefully we're drying out, right? Yeah. <laughs> a little Overall, bit. the next seven yes. days drier than the last five okay. days. I can okay. tell you that much. <laughs> we, and talking about the last five days, let's take a look at the totals for the last five days because we've seen a lot of rain. Some of you have seen well over four inches, but of course it varies depending on location. In San Diego, just uh, under three inches. In Oceanside, almost four inches of rainfall. The ground is so saturated. You can probably give it a few more days before even turning on those sprinklers. Hopefully you did turn them off in Santee 4.3 in Ramona, just about five inches and a quarter in Otai, almost seven and a half inches of rain. And there's actually a live look right now at Mount Laguna. They got about four inches of snow. I checked the reports were from this morning, but no significant snow totals were added during the day today. And just looking across the region in Snow Valley, almost 30 inches of snow Mount Mount High for those of you planning on doing any skiing, they got another 14 inches of snow in Mount Valdi, 10 to 18 inches. And for us in Mount Laguna, four inches of snow. There is still a high surf advisory until 10 p.m. tonight, but expecting those swells to also go down. Current conditions across the county, mostly 50s. And as you can see, our camera is still bouncing up and down, so it is breezy out there. We still have an onshore flow in place. It'll change on Friday and Saturday, but until then, colder temperatures as we go into tonight, not terribly windy, but the breeze will continue. We see numbers in the 30s in Julian, 20s in Mount Laguna, of course, much better closer to the coast and into our inland communities, but it will be even colder tonight with 20s, 30s and 40s even for our coastal communities. Expecting conditions to remain drier and anything left over, as you can see here, it is going to continue drying out as we go into the evening hours, but we'll be getting ready to track the next storm system. You can see it right there. This is on a Wednesday morning, just making it its way into Northern California on Thursday. It'll start to make its way into Southern California, and that is when we expect our chance to go up. Most likely it'll be in the evening time, so late afternoon into the evening expecting accumulations to not be significant. Everything should be fairly light at this point. It'll be weak by the time that system gets here. Winds will be stronger though, expecting those winds to pick back up 40, 50 miles per hour once again for mountains and deserts. And there could even be some snowflakes mixed in for a higher elevations. Here's how much rain we're going to see. So everything in the hundreds of an inch. This is great. We don't need significant rain at this point. We just need drier days and we'll see many more more Friday, Saturday, but on Sunday it could potentially change. There's another system that could be on the heels of the one on Thursday and it may bring the possibility. The forecast though, it does look warmer as we get into Friday and Saturday thanks to the winds turning direction becoming easterly and warming even our mountains to the 50s. Our deserts will go from low 60s the next couple of days to about 66 degrees this weekend. Lindsay. Angelica, thank you.